Hello, hello, welcome to... Well, <laughs> welcome to hopefully not get eaten alive. Um, so I guess the other option is uh, wait like a little bitch. And I guess, uh, guess I don't really want to die. But fuck you, Riska. You will be... <laughs> I, I see you with a uh, shitty eye and I think you're a little bitch. And I should peace out immediately. And uh, you're a shitty friend. Okay, <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> Watch and hide. Okay, okay, holy shit. Riska loses a giant spider monster and eight children. Yeah, lovely, fantastic. I love it. Fuck, I'm fucking great. <laughs> you know what? This is playing so much and also raises significant numbers of questions. They're gonna think about while not watching these kids getting eaten. Lovely. You look at something to distract yourself with you. You put a black raggedy book. Much older than anything else in this room. With Riska's symbol on the cover. Is that Batman? Uh, <clears throat> Batman symbol, I don't know why I'm noticing now. Reach for it and open it, flipping to a random page and seeing what looks like a journal. Score in cerulean, but no risk of writing from your character sheet. Looking inside the first page, you see the main name of Minfang? Min what, 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 what? Wait, 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 wait. Is the character murderous or she's. I don't know. You read and read and holy shit, you're very unsure that it's appropriate for a young girl to be reading. Uh. <coughs> For a young girl to be reading, you keep flipping through different parts and wow, it just gets worse. Riska named her character after this. Lose yourself in a hate reading mind Mindfang's long stories about petty crimes, dubious concept. Dubious concept. And with the detailed description of the office of a woman named Red Glare. You're surprised then when Riska walks up to the stairs and in her pockets, looking at the ground. She doesn't even look at you before sitting down on the floor across from you, cross-legged and st staring a thousand yards into the distance. She rocks back and forth and still in her pocket. You go to give her a reassuring pat on the back as soon as you touch her metal shoulders. Cold even through her shirt, she turns to you with a jumping glare and hisses like a cat before facing away again. You, you got the message. We got the message. Wait, 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 wait. Are you gonna smash it again? Jesus Christ. Chill. She takes an able eight ball out of her inventory again and savagely brutally beats it on the stone floor of her room until it's nothing but shards in a puddle. Then the two of you sit, she occasionally peeks through the debris of the table, rocks clenching and unclenching her fist. But as the minute pass, her breathing slowly bit by bit. You don't say a word or bring up what happened. She's the one who talked first. Early you seem like confused about why I care so much about playing a character. She times to Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it escalated. everything's escalating so quickly. Anyway, she times to do do raid Dog raid? Donji raid? Do 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 gear? Edge of the worn piece of paper in her sharp claw hand. Staring at the wall, she still got blood on her jacket, but then almost make you wretch with the memory of spider spidery mandibles devouring her spoils. One glimpse of it made you sick, what who doesn't do hundreds? I mean, it seems obvious to me that the Marquis is the greatest and coolest character ever made. Isn't that the biggest disappointment? Uh, whatever. But I've seen her for so long, it's sort of like a part of me. Everybody throwing your shapes every day and acting like something right. But most people are so boring. They don't dress up, they don't act, they're always so obsessed with being the exact kind of troll they were yesterday. Maybe you don't have to be the same. Maybe you can go on message board and try being someone new and find out you like it. Maybe it's nice to be called something you losses doesn't. Your losses doesn't call you. I mean, people who only ever knew you as the girl online or the other shit. It's like the super badass and good at things. Come on, you can tell me you never wanted to be someone else. You edge a bit closer to her during this rant and are looking at the sheet of paper in her hand. It's a spreadsheet looking, uh, it's a sp spreadsheet looking series of boxes just filled with red ink. Name, Marquis Spin Red Minfang. That's pretty good. Gender F, with a lot of explanation. Levels all of them, Seagrift. Why you are so P? She does that all over the margins out of her captain ships and swinging sword and drinking out of goblets. If I wanted to be someone else, the question makes you uncomfortable. Just pondering who you are. Now feels for you unease. Fuck playing a character. Filling out a shit like this is for yourself seem impossible. A piece of paper representing all your physical and mental attributes. A blank canvas to come out lies. Darion. 
Darian, defined the boundaries and on every conceivable personality. You don't even know how you feel in the gender box. You've been busy making friends, okay? I guess, uh, genderless? Suddenly, she turns on you, and there's a desperate kind of crazy intensity in her good eye that her gaze will burn you. You're going to leave, aren't you? Honestly, I already did. No, yeah, of course, everybody does. Well, shit. I mean, come on, you're killing kids. I mean, I, I they could be assholes, okay, I got it, but Jesus fucking Christ. Do you, do you think I like this? I, I don't fucking know why you're doing this, to be honest. I used to have a partner. She didn't like it either, but she helped, helped me anyway. Like you, I guess, except she didn't puke when she was so blood. And also not like you at all. Didn't puke when she was so blood? Are you talking about Kanya? She made rules, she loves rules. I don't know. You know this, but I'm not like big on those game game alienation queens broke rules all of all the time. It's just what you got to do to survive. To make the voice stop hara me. And like she heard her losses in her head too. But she didn't need anything from her. What's that even like? So her, her 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 losses is actually telling her to feed <laughs> feed feed the big kids, but she didn't need any milk. Okay, okay. I've got to be the best. I have to. You can't get all the levels just to look at them on the sheet. You saw me out there. It's dangerous. She tried to kill me and left me alone. She tried to kill me and left me alone. Who? Kanya? And then I got even. Be then I got even because that's what you have to do. Backstabbers. Okay, I'm really confused. Who you are talking about? But well, still, I don't feel even. It doesn't bother her. It doesn't bother her. Nobody ever cares. They just leave and move on. I'm still stuck here on this stupid world. How are people mad at me for putting loser out of their fucking misery? This planet fucking sucks. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> that's that's like a wave. Whoa! <laughs> Sheesh! <laughs> we have to kill them all. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> I was like, uh, I understand, what the fuck? <laughs> What's going on? Jesus, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I have a hard time to justify your action, though, actually. <laughs> oh boy, that's a lot. You let her finish her tirade. She hasn't looked as straight at you for the whole thing. Gently ask about how her Moirel, who you, who you did just befriend, uh, will feel about her saying she's alone. Okay, he escalated so quickly. You see a lot of toes flickering through her head, a lot of expression. That's across her face. She sat so long to look like she's smelling something off. People always want shit from other people. Well, I guess. Sometimes you know somebody and you can't describe, like, what your whole deal is. You're grabbing these ideas about what you are supposed to do, how you're supposed to be. You get handed down these three categories, tables in your player's handbook. You read stories of journal, ju journals, or whatever they say it is in. This is a maysprit? Maysprit? You feel like this is about them. You have a moral that meddles with you because you are just too broken for her, and she just wants, 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 wants. Or you get told, oh, this is what rival looks like, and then you look at your black date, date, and isn't just an absolute repulsive slimy eel who always wants you to kiss him and you. Wait, what? Oh. Slimy eel who always wants you to kiss him and you. Are you talking about uh, down now? The eel? Okay. Oh Jesus Christ, I mean, uh, oh my god, sheesh, oh my god, I mean, you dated assholes, is what you tell me. And I could really appreciate in that department, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, <laughs> but then there is a someone that comes along, and now that stuff makes sense to you, you just like being with her, or it's not even like, you just feel like shit makes more sense with her. I will say it's like you have this voice in your head saying you are not good enough all the time, but she makes it quiet, but I actually do have a voice in my head saying I'm not good enough. God, I'm not explaining this right. Yeah, I'm confused as you are. Maybe more. What I try to say is... Yeah, that's Doomsday device. Everybody, everyone leaves, nobody cares, and we're all waiting. 
On a call up to war, and look, I'm ready, and the best at war, it's just a big flop. But I'd rather have a plan B. Uh, you give Risk a moment of to breathe, you don't give her a reassuring touch on the back, you don't give her a reassuring, like, how oh, you have to unlock it. You don't give her a reassuring touch on the back, remembering her jump and his when you try to the last time. She's like a feral cat, this girl, tangled, greasy hair, drops over, sh shoulders that are always hunched up, like something will come for her throat if she exposes it to anyone. Well, I'll, I'll, I guess. I mean, I'll be on the edge. I mean, <laughs> I murdered children. <laughs> like I fed my big ass spider children. May as well be a little bit on the edge, seeing that probably someone, someone someday will fucking kill me. <laughs> you wonder if she ever let her shoulders down around the girl she's talking about. An ex, perhaps. Of course she did. You wonder if she ever will again. You hear a pss in your ear and. Squirrel a little laugh and suddenly remember a green room that you have this tall, tall before somehow. My friend, my marionette friend, the bulb, <laughs> I don't know how to call it. You ask her the question that's been consuming you. Or more accurately, uh, actually, uh, not consuming you. <laughs> why were you? Uh, why were you left up here when everyone else got fed up to the spiders? Yeah. She turns this up immediately when you ask this and takes some time to clench her fist, then release them. Some people are off limits. She has to eat, but she doesn't eat my friends when I bring her enough food. No, your losses suck ass. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but suck ass. And you counted, uh, you counted as off limits? You are one of her friends? Oh my god, don't get big head about it. I wanna let her eat Kakat either, and he's not like my off side? B side? Eight eight of eight eight of side for life or anything. I, I like uh, like I like how she think oh I didn't let Kakat. I mean I feel like poor Kakat <laughs> I'm actually feeling for Kakat now. <laughs> I was like, of course he always on the edge. He's like, <laughs> one of my <laughs> like one of my friend is a psychopath. That when he don't do drugs, he'll fucking kill me. My other friend is also a fucking psychopath. That uh, <laughs> fed uh, <laughs> that fed children to a, a giant spider. My other friend is uh, uh, less less. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Vokaka. No, I'm actually feeling Vokaka. I'm just like, why are you being so angry all the time? I was like, now I know. <laughs> You're stressed the fuck out. <laughs> the people you know are all fucking insane. <laughs> and, and I was like, of course you have a fucking silk or knife on you <laughs> to defend yourself. Even drones want to fucking kill you and shit. <laughs> I was like, what the... <clears throat> Always on the edge, yeah? Plus, you help me out. And that's the, the pirate code. Okay, yeah, yeah. Plus, plus, Fussy Fangs will be mad. Who's Fussy Fangs? I forgot who's Fussy Fang is. It must be hard separating clothes in two classes, friends and food like that. It must be hard, and nobody understand. Oh, well, I'm friend of your girlfriend, okay? If you kill kill me, she should probably know. I guess, maybe. No, no, but I don't know. Well, oh my god, he'll do shit. <laughs> like, okay, this is fucked up. Get, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, that's not how it works here. Everybody got someone to kick down on. It's except Rustle Lots? But I'm the break breaks. Somebody gotta be on the bottom to keep the whole shenanigans uh, afloat. Killing people lower down than you is what all the school feeds say you're supposed to do. To get ready for a life of space war against. I'm sorry. Imagine being invited to a D and D party. They'll be like, uh, like uh, they pay you, like, oh, ha have some coin. You know, it's like, uh, I want you in my party. We have to beat up a girl, or I don't know, bully it, or like we have to be beat her up on D and D. And then you'll be like, okay. And then somehow you manage to, uh, somehow she fucking wipe you all, and then just try to start to feed you up to a spider. It's like, holy fucking shit. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, I was like, I was just playing at the ending match! 
Or it mostly seems like they just kill more low bloods, that, that's all it ever is. Melcesta. She looks left and right, as though she's going to be uh, overheard, then leans in a smirkingly. Leaning smirkingly, she sounds like she's letting you into, you know, now, secret with a K. Um, <coughs> a secret. Melcesta, in fact, she sailed around being the terror of the high sea for a while, but. Wait, we didn't. Uh, we already, like, sorry. Didn't we just like uh, read a biography of your know, meme fan, and then we realized it was like, oh my god, that's terrifying. She fell uh, in with a group that was going to do something about all that. A bunch of weirdos led by a mutant who wanted evolution. I always wanted to be like her. I like using her name more than my own for a while. There's help like her, learning to sail. I always end up back here with a pile of corpses. That's having a losses, right? Sometimes you don't get to do what you want. He talks to me, you know, he only stops when she's full. <laughs> Bring me food. Bring me food. Bring me food. Imagine having a cat just look at me, man, and they go like, Bring me food. Like, can you eat something else? Can you bring you, I don't know, a cow? A steak? Something else? Can Does it have to be children, your diet? Uh, something more uh, manageable? One of those ghoul? I mean, I don't know, uh, something else. I mean, Jesus Christ, children? Sheesh. Always, 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 always. Whispering in my head, saying I was fatter than... Wow, Jesus Christ, saying I was fatter than her, saying I deserve all the things that happened to me. Even when I was bleeding out of the... on this floor, bleeding out. You look at the cold, cluttered, uncomfortably drafty room. Whatever happened to her face and arm must have happened here. You see a broken figure silhouetted on the wall. Wait, you lost your arm like that? You look back at the Vriska and you know what she is for all the bombas insults killing. You're looking at a survivor. Uh, well, shit. You're looking at someone who did nothing wrong. You remember Dave's carefully crafted defense of a persona. You remember Rose eating an oatmeal for dinner in a drafty brutalist mansion. <laughs> I was like Jade in a shadow from Cain raising herself. I was like, holy fucking shit. There were like mild problem comparatively, okay? Ah, oh, my mom is a bitch. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I have to feed a giant spider that is inside my fucking brain telling me to gotta fuck myself. I was like, yeah. Sound, uh... Sheesh. <laughs> it was like, sheesh. Your word is can be as brutal as this one. Earth makes survivors too, and you have made a difference for them, one at a time. Over that nihilistic bullshit idea feels like it was shouted at you by some meddling voice, someone holding the strings. Fuck that. You are gonna be a goddamn hero today. Well... I mean, Jesus, we tried and we died. You're gonna make friends with this whole fucking planet if you have to. You are going to make it better or at least uh, complete. <laughs> or at least less of a complete dumpster. With Alvriska, you'll be right back and spring down to the spiral staircase. Are we gonna kill the spider? You'll keep running, pumping your beautiful legs straight to the outer door of Riska and Giant Hive. You don't have you have to call inside the lines of someone else's story. This is your motherfucking narrative now. Yeah! yeah. You take a leap when you reach the cliff and barrel over falling fast, wind whipping past your face uh, as you tumble through the air. It was a giant white spire and leap not of fate but of hope. You crash into the carapace of Riska terrible murder mom hard? More murder mom hard? Cracking it with a piercing shriek at the same time you Zap! Hundreds of feet above our Oh you zap the spider in a volcano. Up hundreds of feet above the mount of the volcano on Jade's Island and kick off the back of the spider, leaving the giant troll Gorg Arachne tumbling to the lava as you tap back to Alternia, back to risk and respite block. Holy shit. You appear behind her, she doesn't notice you. She looking out her window, down an empty web with a shocked expression. Still looking out the window, her stunned silence turns, lowering into a green. Some someone less generous than you will describe. A shit eating what? Let me reread re it. Still looking out the window, her stunned silence turns slowly to a green someone less generous than you will describe as shit-eating. 
Holy shit, Andrea, you actually did something. I did something? Oh, fucking yes. Is that a good ending? We just melt down your losses? Is that, does that count? I guess that counts. No doubles. Weenie. Mother Trower, uh, well, you wonder what Bronze Spider tastes like. Um, hey, gentlemen, we got somehow a good ending. I guess that is an acceptable good ending. I mean, we managed to burn down the speeder, speeder <laughs> to hell. Uh, that's basically the ending of chapter volume six. Oh, that was a lot of baggage. Holy fucking shit, wow. My god, uh, I need a break. What the fuck? Okay, uh, that was the options. What absolute, what the absolute fuck? Okay, uh, you know what? Uh, end the episode. Wow, Jesus, I have so much. Wow. I'll see you again very, very soon. Lovely, bye.